Welcome back to Fallout 76, everybody. Thank you for joining me again. We're just outside of, I think that place is called uh, Sunny Top Station. Here on these train tracks. Hopefully no train comes while I'm standing here. I think this is a uh, rad stag doe. They generally just leave me alone, so I'll leave the rad stag doe alone. Let's go over here to Sunny Top, Sunny Top Station and uh, probably sell off some stuff. Man, this place looks like it was once a raider stronghold. Hopefully there's not um, super mutants or something like that in here now. Huh. Some uh, bodies in here. This place isn't looking so good. Yeah, this is quite a bit unlike the other stations we've visited. They've been uh, rather peaceful. Whoa, what's that noise? Did you hear that? Um, oh, Aster, okay. Looks like it might even be a turret in here or something. And then a red arrow and a scary skull face there. Some heads here. Well, I guess that noise I heard was just the vendor here. Please don't stab other customers while they shop. <laughs> Don't stab other customers while they shop. Huh, somebody's doing some work here on a little birdhouse. That's kind of cute. Hmm, bunch of stuff in here. Some silver plastic bowls that I can scrap. Vegetable medley soup. A silver bowl. All kinds of fun stuff in there. Not sure what that noise is. Let me pick up a few more things. If there's anything else I want to pick up in here, and then we'll scrap them. And then we'll get into our stash and um, take care of our inventory issues. A lot of junk out here. Well, wow, interesting. Somebody had a bed set up here. Hmm. Some ash rose on the pillow. There's a raider here with some ammo on him. an interesting place. Body up there. Oh, an enamel bucket. Okay. Something I want there. Some bones. Nuka-Cola machine with no cola in it, unfortunately. Boy, all kinds of bones here. What is in that direction that's making that noise? Something up here, I guess. And then over here to the right is the ski place, I think. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, that must be the ski place up there. I can get on the roof of this place. Just for the heck of it. Oh, nothing up here for us. But it's cool to get up here. Curious to see what is making that noise. Some kind of power substation or something down there. Whatever you call those things. Okay. Uh, let's go here. A headland there. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Okay, it says. And then that's all scratched out and that's all scratched out. Huh, and then there's like bloody handprints on it. See that? There's a bloody handprint there. Hmm. Okay. If you look on our map, I can't zoom out far enough, unfortunately, but I think the OK area is bounded to the west by this and maybe to the east by this highway. Uh, it's just a guess. All 
All right, let us uh, transfer some stuff. Unfortunately, I am maxed out at my uh, stash box again. Um, and I remember I was selling off stuff before. Uh, unfortunately, I don't remember what I was selling off. Remember when I was trying to sell things off and the uh, vendor uh, ran out of uh, coin. Pillaged. Loot. Pillaged. Loot. Available in exchange for caps. Okay. Um, I guess this means he only has 200 caps, I think? I think, was I selling off, um, scrap? Is that what I was doing? I honestly don't remember. But I think... I don't know, man. I don't think I want to sell off my scrap, do I? Now, uh, yeah, I... I don't know. I had all this figured out before, but now I've forgotten. And I don't remember what my plan was. Um, yeah, I... Ah, doggone it. I, okay, I do remember that I was going to sell off a bunch of my chems. I remember that. Like, I don't need 24 buff outs. You know, I know that. And then, like, a lot of things like... I mean, medics I'm not really using. I was going to sell off these... Um, magazines here that I'll never use. Um, you know, I'll never use these things. And then I was going to keep just like a few of things like, do I really need 46 diluted rad axes? I don't think I do right now. So if we go over here to sell these things off, I, I don't know how much stuff I could actually sell, but I'm going to sell off some of them. Um, try to sell off uh, all these diluted rad X's. Get your rating supplies. Here. Okay, so that was 94 or caps there. Don't. I don't care. And then I could sell these off too. Now he's down to 20 caps. So he doesn't really have much, you know, coin, unfortunately. Um, I mean, do I need black titanium? I don't know. Need some ammo, skins. Or spiky bits to stab people with. You may find some here. And then if I come back over here, I could store all my junk, but that gets me up to 600, uh, which means that I'm still carrying quite a bit of junk. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get rid of it. I mean, do I just sell off? Well, again, he's out of money. But selling off this bulk stuff does free up some space. So, like bulk bone shards. Yeah. Unfortunately, the vendor doesn't have, doesn't have enough caps. Boy, those things go for a lot. Um, really. Now, I know that there are other vendors that I can go to to sell stuff off to, but I don't think any of them are nearby. You know, you guys were telling me about the different factions. Like, this is a raider uh, vendor. Uh, and I could go, you know, to over here. This would probably be a different type of vendor. I haven't, been, I haven't been up here yet. That's weird. I've been to Grafton, but I haven't been to that station. So, but I, I just don't want to take the time to do that. However, I don't know how to free up space here now. Uh, because I try to store junk and now I'm maxed out. At least now I'm not carrying as much junk on me. But still, I mean, 208? Give me a break. What in the world am I carrying that uh, uses up that much? Ugh. I mean, this is... It's, it's exhausting managing uh, inventory. It just is. And I thought I had finally got to a point where I could deal with it, but then I ran into Vendor the problem uh, of vendors running out of money. So it's just a big pain in the butt. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take a little bit of time and manage my inventory. What I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and fast travel like uh, to here, right? And sell off, you know, sell off as much stuff as I can here, and then I'll go to another one. So I'm just going to do that a bit. And then I'll resume back here because you guys really don't need to come with me while I uh, manage inventory. So I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, back here at Sunny Top Station. 
I didn't sell that much because Make I don't know which location has what floor. faction. Um, I went over... Uh, where did I go? I don't remember the first place I went now. Um, I think I went to Morgantown and that might have been a first responder location. And then I went to uh, White Spring, wherever that is, and that's a White Spring location. But uh, I traveled around to a couple different places. Um, but I think I only found the three, the Raider, the Responder, and um, White Spring. I don't remember what the other factions are. And one thing I have found out is that my recording software does not like it when I fast, tra fast travel. It crashed three times on me uh, during my fast traveling. So um, that was a pain in the butt. But I got my uh, inventory down to 168, which I'm not real happy about, but that's what I'm going to have to deal with right now. Uh, because, um, yeah, I'm tired of dealing with that right now. So, let's actually play the game, shall we? Let me look around here a little bit real quick before we move. Uh, looks like there was a little vendor station set up here. Which is uh, kind of neat. Looks like they're all sold out, though. Don't you dare crash on me again, game. I mean, the game crashed on me, too. Uh, so, not great. Lots of casual outfits here. I guess these people were here for the skiing. Perhaps. The bus is in remarkably good shape. Oh, here's a uh, preservation shelter. <laughs> Somebody went in there with their skis. <laughs> um, wooden skis. Wooden skis. So we want to go to sunny something or other. What was the name of this place? I don't remember. Uh, but my uh, marker is telling me to go in this direction. So this is the direction I'm going to go in. Let's see if there's anything on this bus. Um, well, pack of cigarettes. I want that for some reason. Bobby pin box. That's always good to have. Look how slow the server is at reacting to. I don't know if it's just a tough night for the server or what. Oh, yeah, one time. Um, ooh, skiing navy and orange outfit. Uh, when I was um, selling some stuff whoops, to a uh, vendor, um, I got disconnected from the, from the server, so I think the servers are maybe a little bogged down tonight. I don't know. It's, uh, as I record this, it's Sunday night after the Super Bowl, and uh, maybe a bunch of uh, Fallout fans decided to play Fallout 76 after the Super Bowl, or maybe even during the Super Bowl. I don't know. Let's bring up our inventory here. I just picked up some new apparel. We're gonna put on the skiing navy and orange outfit and the Ushanka hat, and I'm gonna drop the um, the other things I was carrying. Oh yeah, there we go. Dressed up quite nicely. Uh, I don't think that I need the uh, veil on, and I think it kind of takes away from my look. So I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna keep it, but we'll just take it off for now. There we go. That is. Uh, this looks like a lady's outfit, maybe. So, we hear some uh, gunshots coming from up here. Let me look at the map and see if there's any players here. No, there's not. So, I don't know who's doing the shooting. I'm going to guess Super Mutants. Because Super Mutants seem to have moved into um, these... Uh, what used to be Raider locations. Oh, I didn't even... I didn't hit him either. Okay, we're not off to a very good start. Okay, well. Come on now, I'd like to kill somebody before they kill me. <sighs> okay. There, you die. Oh, oh my razor oh my rifle broke? Gosh darn it. Well, won't be using that for a while, I guess. Man, I can't believe these level 16 guys. They are much, much harder to kill than the level 10 guys I've been facing. Much, much harder to kill. They take quite a few more hits. Well, hopefully there'll be a... Um, weapon repair bench in here. Because I need to repair that weapon. Sunny Top Ski Lanes. Some uh, settler bodies around here. 
Yeah, another one up here. Place is walled off. Check Margie's last known location for clues. Oh, he already sees me? Jeez. Good eyes, dude. Ow. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. Yeah, these guys take way more hits. Yeah, look at this, four hits? I can kill a level 10 guy in one hit. Come on, peek your head back out here again so I can finish you off. Looks like it's starting to rain on us here. It's no big deal. Oh, look at him being all smart going inside, not coming out here so I could shoot his head off. Guess I better take a drink or something, huh? We will drink some... See, I still have these magazines on me. I couldn't even sell these. I guess I could if I would have remembered, but I didn't. Damn it! Oh, oh wrong button. No! Haha, oh, you're dead, jerk. Come running up on me. quite dead. Okay, we got him. Reload, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I am thirsty. Where the hell is my purified water? There we go. Look how many hits it takes to kill these guys. It's ridiculous. Stupid super mutants. I hate super mutants. They're so annoying. Well, you know there's going to be more of them. But that was um, actually smart of them to come rushing at me like that. Kind of surprised that they did that. Real surprised, actually. Man, what are the odds that there's going to be a weapon bench here? There could be. I mean, if this was a raider camp at one point, there could be a weapon bench here. Oh, by the way, I sold my binoculars. Um, somebody in the comments pointed out that, uh, you know, my, um, this thing works just as well as binoculars, so why carry around binoculars? And that was an excellent point, so I sold my binoculars just to free up a little bit of weight. Oh. I heard of super mutants, but I don't see him now. I wish I had that laser rifle. I liked that rifle. It's pretty cool. Oh, it looks like my armor's in bad shape, too. You see down there in the lower right-hand corner an icon. Indicating my armor's in bad shape. What armor are they talking about? Um, my welded raider right leg? Looks fine to me. Put that back on. My ro pocketed robotic right leg? Looks fine to me. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't realize I had two right legs. I'm going to keep the pocketed one for the extra space. We'll drop that other one. I guess maybe this uh, chest piece is what the game is warning me about. Well, now I'm hoping that there's an armor bench and a weapon bench in here. Look at this, there's a trap here. It's already been disarmed. The terminal over there I guess I'm supposed to look at. 44, I don't need that. Yep, it's looking kind of like a ski lodge, isn't it? Hmm. Trapper Muffled Limb Mod. Eh, whatever. Oh man, I don't know why I picked up those missiles. Those things are heavy. I don't want missiles. Let me drop those. Those things are so heavy.
There. I don't want those. Insta mash. Now that I'll take. Plastic plate. Ooh, look. Here is a safe that's open. Heavy leather left leg. Let's see how that compares to what I'm currently using. Uh, no, it's not as good as what I'm currently using, so I'll just drop it on the ground. Margie McClintock's holotape. Let's listen. This is Margie McClintock of the Die Hards. What a joke. We deluded ourselves into thinking our victims would fear a name like that. But now, everyone out there is as desperate as we are. And every confrontation could mean life or death. People take their chances. They fight back. So, we have to kill. We have to murder innocent people. Well, not me. I don't care what this world has come to. It's not taking me down with it. The whole idea of the Raiders is sick. It's inhuman. I'm destroying that hmm. stupid key fragment. Those bastards don't deserve their treasures. Unless they return to their senses and quit this whole murderous power game they're playing. If that ever happens... Vincent knows what to do. Maybe he'll be more successful than I was. As for me, I'm leaving. I'll find some chems and, and I'll go out that way. Peaceful. Without pain. I'm done. I'll see you soon, Harlan, my love. So it sounds like she broke or tried to break the key fragment. Is that what she did? So let's look at the quest now. It sounds like Margie destroyed her holotape. This could be a dead end. Margie's holotape mentions that someone named Vincent might have a contingency plan. That's my only lead. Now we're supposed to read Vincent's terminal. Which I guess this isn't Vincent's terminal. Vincent's terminal is going to be over there in that direction. But let's check out this guest terminal here. Room 2 guest, new guest welcome message, valued guest, welcome to your relaxing ski vacation at Sunny Top Ski Lanes. Prepare to be immersed in the rustic charm of our historic lodge and to carve down the most exciting slopes in Appalachia. Our, lists, our lifts operate from 9am to 4pm, so get out there early to make the most of our tri your trip. Our lanes range from green circle to black diamond, so we have something to offer the whole family. If you're a true thrill seeker, ask about our backcountry opportunities at your own risk. Ski lessons are available every other Monday at 9 a.m. If you miss these windows, don't fret. There's no better way to learn than getting on the slopes and learning yourself. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. After hours, we have plenty of après ski to keep the fun going. Uh, come down to the Lodge restaurant for a refreshing drink, or take the bus down to the Base Lodge where we hold nightly clock dancing lessons. Ooh, that sounds like fun. We know you'll enjoy your stay with us at Sunny Top Ski Lanes. Let the front desk know if you need anything, and remember to have a sunny day. Ski trail list. Here at Sunny Top Ski Lanes, we have a wide range of ski trails for guests of all skill levels to enjoy. Uh, Massey's Tumble, Green Circle. Hopefully you won't tumble as you cruise down this beginner's trail to the base lodge for a well-earned cocktail. Good Times, Blue Square, an intermediate trail with just enough excitement to keep you coming back for more. Friendly Hills, Blue Square. Make sure you don't veer off the cliffside on this thrilling intermediate to expert trail. <laughs> Make sure you don't veer off the cliffside. Wee! Champion, Black Diamond. Defy death itself as you fly down our signature Black Diamond Trail. Be sure to slow down before slamming into our newly renovated base lodge. <laughs> uh, sweet checkout procedures. Valued guest, please follow these simple procedures before departing your luxury suite at Sunnytop Ski Lanes. 
Departing guests must check out prior to 8.30 a.m. Screw you. I'm not staying here. Sheesh. Guests not following this rule will be subject to a late checkout fee. Guests can request a later checkout time 24 hours in advance for a reduced fee. Guests who depart their suite in an unkempt state <laughs> will be subject to a mandatory housekeeping gratuity. It is recommended that guests perform a thorough cleaning before departure. Screw you again. Failure, failure to return all rental ski equipment will result in the full price of those items to be charged to the renter's room on checkout. Guests must check out using in-room terminals before delivering the key to the front desk. Failure to do so results in an additional administrative fee. Kali G, thank you for choosing Sun Sunny Top Ski Lanes as your premier ski destination and have a sunny day. This place sucks. One star. Uh, initiate sweet checkouts. Error checkout service unreachable. Please contact the front desk for further information. And then the safe control, which we already opened and helped ourselves to. It was open. Okay, so we need to uh, find Vincent's terminal. But uh, there's still more to explore in this place, so let's check it out a little bit, shall we? Room two here. Mmm, Salisbury steak. It's what's for dinner. Here's room three. Uh, room three is considerably smaller than room two. I mean, look at this room. This is a nice room. Um, one thing I do want to know is... Where are the restrooms? This is like a bed and breakfast where everybody shares the same bathroom, and if so, where is the bathroom? It seems like it's pretty far away. Yeah, man. Long walk to the restrooms. Screw this place. This place sucks. But we're going to look around it anyway. A nice open lobby here. It's pretty cool. I don't know why there has to be so many mannequins lying around. A clown hat. Garden gnome. Uh, here's a raider corpse and a guns and bullets magazine. The moon, a communist doomsday device. <clears throat> it doesn't even tell us what that magazine does. Oh, hey, look, here's Meg's Concerns. Let's listen to Meg's Concerns. Meg here. Look, I've got to say something before it's too late. I think old Margie is off her rocker, man. You know, we are all trying our best here, but this whole idea of being a raider <laughs> without killing oh, is way harder than it sounds. Okay. I mean, yeah, I get it. But damn, girl, this is life and death out there. Some of these people are just trying to make it like anyone else after the bombs. Yeah, I don't want to kill them if they don't give up their stuff. But, you know, we got to eat, and so do they. Waving a gun around used to scare them, but now they got nothing to lose, so they wave one right back. I keep telling Margie we are losing people out there because we're told not to fire first and it ain't getting any easier. She don't know it yet, but a lot of us, we've been firing first anyway, so to save our skins. Margie be pissed, but she ain't out there like the rest of us, so <laughs> to heck with her. Only reason we don't up and mutiny her ass is because she's got that piece of the key for the cash and a few loyalists to protect her. And honestly, it still be tame with any of the other gangs. That deal we've got with the palace is pretty sweet. All told, we got it pretty good. Oh well. Guess all we can do is keep on keeping on. You dig? They have a deal with the palace. I wonder what palace she's talking about. Whoa, watch out for that thing. Looks like there's a key over here behind the desk. Sunny Top Ski Lane's room 6 key. And right, I'm going to take that. Take some money, more bobby pins, you know. Uh, Sunny Top Marketing Memo. 
Sunny Top Ski Lanes to Ted Augustine. No, I'm sorry, to Ted Augustine. Here is the list of promotions you requested. I feel these will fit our need and budget. Marco Polo Ski Challenge, complete with resort branded blindfolds. Ski through at Sunny Top Grill, add a ski through lane to our restaurants. Ye old ski joust, knock your opponent off their skis to win prizes. Three legged ski race, teams compete on only three skis. If any of these ideas appeal to you, all we need is your signature and we'll make them happen. Darren Lafleu, marketing manager or director or whatever it said. Uh, I'm not so sure how I feel about uh, that. Those ideas. Uh, let's see if we can open this. A plan for a pulse mine. It's apparently something we don't know yet. Otherwise, it would have said known next to it. Pulse mine plan. Let us read it. Okay, that's cool and everything. What's that? Plasma cartridge, okay. Excuse me, petrified corpse. Oh man, nothing in the metal box. Ooh, a baseball base. I'll take that. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go upstairs over here first. Then we'll go on that side of the building. I still haven't found the restrooms yet. Oh my. A vault dweller. Yikes, what a way to go. Damn. Raider corpse. Oh, Backwoodsman magazine. Baby schmabies. Beat blood-borne diseases faster. Okay. Hardy as a Sasquatch. 36 days of eating vampire bats. Thrilling true stories for rugged men. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff. I've already got a hat. Take those and the buff outs. And then we've got uh, some stairs going down there. Yeah. Looks like this would have been a pretty neat place once upon a time. Let's go back inside here. If I can. Take a look out here. Oh, there's a hot tub back here. Another hat and a bunch of beer bottles. Body in there. Oh, nasty. Oh, hi. How's it going? Duct tape. Sunny Top Maintenance Memo. To all Sunny Top Ski Lane staff, due to a mix up, the water feed line was switched with the sewage disposal line before being attached to the snow making machines. <laughs> Under no circumstances should guests be allowed to ski on any of the slopes until the snow color reverts to white. Ted Fowler, Maintenance Director. This place is terrible. Okay. Alright, I'm not going to walk down there. Here's the uh, trails that we read about before. Try not to walk on this board here. Alright, let's look on this side now. Oh, there's a Downstairs there. Guess this is like a little, I don't know, cafeteria area maybe? Some 
wooden blocks. I don't think I need those. Oh, goody. Don't think I hit him. Wow, he's running away. Well, that was unusual. A super mutant running away? Where'd you go, mutie? Come back, man. I just want to kill you. It's no big deal. He's still up above me here. Alright. We'll do this the hard way. Yeah, little banjo there. There he is. Oh no, that's not him. I thought I saw movement. I guess I don't. Yeah, I do. Holy hell, he's fast. Crap, man. I haven't done any damage to him at all. I don't want to deal with this jerk. I just want to explore, man. Ooh, a bear trap. That sounded very painful, didn't it? Something in here is playing music. those would spell something, but they don't. Here is a blue garden gnome wielding a uh, tire iron. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Where's the music? I can't tell where it's coming from. I want to turn off the music. Is it on a different floor? Where is the music? I want to turn it off. Yeah, I'm not finding it. Oh, damn. That is so weird. I've never seen a super mutant act like that before. Right, let me see if this music is up here. Um, where the heck is the music? There it is. Okay. Stupid music. Forest treasure map number four. Um, that looks kind of familiar, maybe? A suitcase. Let's unlock that. I don't like this super mutant walking around. He's quite high level. Maybe I'll take this chest piece since the one I'm wearing is almost broken. Here, we'll go with that. Is he? Like in this room? Retreat! <laughs> that is so weird. Who the hell is this guy? I'm gonna get rid of this jerk. I had enough of him. I'm coming for you, jerk. Where are you? Where is this guy? He was running around up here. It's on the stairs. Run! Run away! This is really strange. A chicken super mutant. Look at this. It's hilarious. Where are you going, dude? Wow. Vanguard's robot right leg. Grants up to the plus 35 energy and damage resistance the higher your health. Okay. 
All right, well, we took care of that jerk. He was actually no problem at all. The wussiest super mutant I've ever encountered, by far. Okay, now I can look around in here a little bit. Last time I had him to deal with and um, music playing that I needed to deal with. Now I can look around a little bit. We'll go downstairs here in a bit. That's nasty. All right, let's see what's upstairs. So I picked up the key to room six, but room six is already open. Here's concerns with Margie. Let's listen to that. Oh, it's this one again. We just listened I to this. Oh, Margie is off her rocker, man. You know, we are all trying our best here, but this whole idea of being a raider without killing oh, is way harder than it sounds. I mean, yeah, I get it. But damn, girl, this is life and death out there. Some of these people are just trying to make it like anyone else after the bombs. Yeah, I don't want to kill them if they don't give up their stuff. But, you know, we gotta eat, and so do they. Waving a gun around used to scare them, but now they got nothing to lose, so they wave one right back. I keep telling Margie we are losing people out there because we're told not to fire first, and it ain't getting any easier. She don't know it yet, but a lot of us, we've been firing first anyway, so to save our skins. Margie be pissed, but she ain't out there like the rest of us, so <laughs> to heck with her. Only reason we don't up and mutiny her ass is because she's got that piece of the key for the cash and a few loyalists to protect her. And honestly, it still be tame with any of the other gangs. That deal we've got with the palace is pretty sweet. All told, we got it pretty good. Oh well, guess all we can do is keep on keeping on. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was, actually sounded really neat when that thing blew up. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> well, I found the bathrooms. They're a long way from the rooms, though. Gee whiz. Would not want to walk this far to use the restroom, that's for sure. So, power armor suit over here. That's all great and everything. Uh, headlamp. Hmm, that's interesting. I might take that. Still don't understand how mods work. I know that one or two of you have tried to explain it to me in the comments, but it just doesn't make any sense. So I just haven't been able to figure it out yet. Grab some wood. Huh, what have we here? An armor workbench. Let's do some scrapping. And then I will, um, let's see, switch to repairing. And I need to repair this thing, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's, this thing's way better than this thing. This thing has 38 damage resist, whereas this thing only has 13. So I definitely want to repair that. No, I don't want to mod it. I want to repair it. Unless modding it repairs it, but it's already hardened. I think I want to keep it hardened, and I want to keep it on lighter build also. So let us uh, repair this thing. Let's go ahead and repair this too. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, now I'm going to. Let's see, the robot right leg. Did I just repair this or was it already that good? I don't, eh. I don't like this thing, I'm gonna drop it. I don't even want it. Put this thing on and drop this thing. Oh, jeez, there's a ton of magazines around here. 
Backwoodsman Nightmare in the Garden, raised on Wolverine milk. Whiskey feature, clean your bullet wounds without sacrificing flavor. How manly. Uh, here is a weapons workbench. So I can now fix that, uh, this guy. Uh, I better fix this too, it's getting pretty beat up. The rest of the stuff I think we're okay with. Okay, there's the terminal I'm supposed to look at. So this is probably where you s rented skis. All these lockers here to put your crap in. A mini nuke. I don't need that. All kinds of good stuff in these lockers, though. Okay, let's get behind the counter here. Mac and cheese, we could eat some of that. Free war money that I keep picking up. Ammo. Pardon me. Alright, let's look at this terminal. Vincent Freed's terminal. Property of the diehards for record keeping and communication purposes only. Inbox admin password from Jack Frankson to Vincent Freed. Backups. Margie's been acting a little weird, so I need to tell you this before she does something stupid. You know how we've got that backup of the key fragment stored over at the palace on that holotape duplication machine? Well, I overheard Margie telling the librarian to change the admin password so none of us will know what it is. She's been lying to you, Vince. So I did some snooping around and saw where the librarian must keep the new password. I saw him place a piece of paper into a hidden compartment inside the dresser in his bunk room. Don't let her know you know, or she'll have it changed again. Other gangs. Uh, from Margie to Vincent. No luck. I've been trying to convince the other gang leaders that we need to make backups of all the key fragments. They're just holotapes. It's only a matter of time before someone breaks theirs or loses it, and then we're all SOL. The machine over at the palace is the perfect plan. They're a neutral party. Heck, most of them swore off earthly possessions. Of course, the other gangs don't trust me. They think we're going to take all of the fragments and make off with the cash ourselves in the dead of night. Their distrust is going to be the death of us, I swear. Confidential. From Margie to Vincent. Don't tell anyone else, Vincent, but I had the palace librarian change the admin password to their machine. He's the only one who knows what it is now. It's for their protection if something ever happens to us. I don't want the other gangs wiping them out for their chems. With all that's been going on lately, tempers are flaring and people are getting desperate. Those are good people up there at the palace and they need a bargaining chip. You're the only one they'll deal with if you ever need it back. I trust you. So she did tell him about the password. The palace. Uh, from Jack to Vincent. Margie wanted me to file a report with you concerning the incident at the palace. None of us was there when it happened, but when we came back to the palace yesterday, everyone was gone, just gone, like they just up and disappeared. Didn't look like an attack. Nothing was ransacked. No one took anything with them. It was friggin' spooky, man. Uh, regarding the disappearance from Margie to Vincent, everyone keeps asking, but I don't know what happened at the palace. Jack tells me they were just gone. At first, I thought Gormons got to them. <clears throat> the Gormons, I think, were the cannibals, right? Uh, they've had their hungry eyes on that place ever since they went strict cannibal. But they've been having their own troubles lately, I hear. I doubt it's them. Besides, have you seen what they did to Bolton Greens? They would have left a much bigger mess. I don't know how much more of this I can take, honestly. Gone? From Basco to Vincent's. Yo, what's the deal with the palace? I heard those weirdos just disappeared or something without a trace. Do you think they finally actually transcended or some bullshit like that? Is that even possible? How do people disappear like that? Man, that is some wackadoo messed up stuff. Margie? From Mag to Vincent. Hey, Margie's been gone a lot longer than usual. It's been a few weeks. I know she says not to worry, but... 
We lost track of the Blackwater Bandits a while back, then the Trappers, and of course whatever happened at the Palace of the Winding Path, well, I'm getting worried that whoever or whatever it is will come for us next. A lot of us have been talking about finally skipping town and moving on from Appalachia, maybe head out towards the coast or up north. Let me know if you want in. Uh, scent. Oh, corrupt data. Important notes. Data corrupts. Okay, well, now we know a little bit more information. Um, if we look here, Vincent's terminal mentions that the Palace of the Winding Path had a system for preserving and duplicating a backup for holotapes. I'll need the admin password for their machine, though, which is tucked away in a secret compartment. We're supposed to get the admin password, and according to my compass, it's in that direction. Oh, it's actually over here, and I'm going to guess that this is the palace. Okay, so the password is actually going to be over there. Huh, okay. Well, uh, I think uh, we've explored this place, so time to move on. So this episode ends here. When we come back next time, uh, unless I'm forgetting something, um, I guess maybe we'll head on this road down here and head on over to this palace place, get the admin password, and see what happens next. Thanks for joining me again, everybody. I hope you had fun. If you did, why don't you let me know. Maybe leave me a like or a comment. And uh, hey, why not join me again next time? See you then.